my dad's side of the family is Irish Catholic, and my mom's side of the family is Southern Baptist. Um, and they, both sides of my family, especially my dad's side of the family, knows that my parents are atheists. So whenever we were there, um, me and my brother were taken to church and uh, taken to Sunday school, and um, my family talked a lot about God around me and my brother to influence us. I okay. Guess. And did you? Um... Did you? When did you verbally come out as an atheist? Um, I was probably I, I can't remember exactly when it was, but I was I'm pretty sure I was in high school, um, and it just came up as a topic of conversation between me and my mom and my brother. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we were talking about um, we we're talking about Greek mythology actually and then I was kind of talking about I kind of related to Greek mythology and how it's considered kind of like a silly like myths basically something that people legitimately believed in um, as myths and I kind of brought up how I thought that Christianity was kind of the same way as far as um, myths and stories to explain the world sure. and um, and my Mom completely agreed with me. <laughs> Have you lost a good relationship with friends or even family over your lack of religious beliefs? Um, I, I don't know if I would say that I've lost relationships. Um, I think that on several occasions relationships haven't started um, because um, whoever found out um, that I was an atheist. Um, I know I had a friend in high school who sent me um, his church's Sunday sermons every Sunday uh, via email and um, he kind of eventually stopped being my friend um, because of that not like in a malicious sort of way but just kind of uh, we didn't really talk or hang out anymore. Have, have you found yourself being guilty of stopping a relationship before it starts because someone is religious? Yes. <laughs> um, mostly in terms of uh, dating. Mm -hmm. If someone, if a guy that I have been talking to uh, is very religious, I don't really pursue it as a romantic relationship. Because you know it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, especially if they're so... Um, secure uh, in, uh, in their beliefs and I'm very secure in mine and both of us aren't going to budge mm -hmm. then I don't really see it um, working out sure. or whatever um, although I have um, pursued relationships with um, people who do have belief in God um, but um, aren't avid in me also having to believe in God Do you see, actually I'll reword this because I'm sure I know the first answer how do you see <laughs> Uh, religion harming the world today? Um, well, um, there are many facets that I think that I could go into. Um, I guess, uh, well, I'm taking a politics of identity class right now just to kind of narrow it down. <laughs> um, and uh, so as far as like religion in the U.S., I'll just keep it to that um, because religion in the world is quite broad. Uh, religion in the U.S. is quite broad. Sure. Um, but um, uh, we watched a video um, about um, the progression of the religious right in America. And some of the things that I saw as far as harming um, at least uh, the United States and uh, larger views of the world uh, were some opinions shared by some priests and just even um, people who weren't necessarily religious authorities saying how um, being gay was wrong, uh, being um, a woman who works outside of the home or doesn't want to be a mom um, is wrong. Um, how being anything other than Christian is wrong, even certain sects of Christianity mm -hmm. is wrong, and then taking it a step further into blaming those people for the ills of society. So then therefore, um, 
uh, wanting to um, oppress those people because they see those people, um, because of their religion, they see those people as harming society, so therefore wanting to harm those people in turn. Probably give them the same advice that my parents gave me um, before I knew their stance on religion, but my parents raised both me and my brother um, very avidly in the fact that if you want to have an opinion, if you want to pursue something, then you should find the reasons why. You always have to have a reason why to do something. I believe this because of these reasons. And so um, I guess my advice would be that whatever you choose to believe, that you should have a reason for it and that you should um, stand behind your convictions. But at the same time, you should always be willing to keep an open mind in order to expand your knowledge on things. You should always always seek to know more about things. I'm Elizabeth and we are Atheism.